I'm pretty sure a lot of us are familiar with Laura Mercier's Iconic Loose Translucent Powder. Now why I personally love that product is because it gives you such a light, flawless finish. It gives your face kind of like this veil of perfection. I find that the original powder does not have any color to it. I'm naturally uh, pretty pale, so today I have somewhat of a tan. I finally got to the beach and got some tan. I mean natural suntan. But why this powder is so famous for the most part, it is because of its formula. It is very, very finely milled. That's how it does not make that kind of like a cake face that you would call. Today I'm reviewing their new launch. This is their translucent powder in the shade Honey. Beautiful sleek packaging as always. And this one will be definitely more suitable for more medium skin tones. Now, I haven't really tried it. I just took out of the box and I'm very excited to test it on camera and see how it sits. Now, I do have my base on. I did apply my foundation and concealer. And what I'm going to start with is I would love to set my under eye area first and see how much of the coverage it will give me and if it's gonna alter my sort of like a highlighted effect because my concealer is about two shades lighter than my foundation. I'm gonna shake it very well and usually the product sticks to the cap so it's very easy. I'm gonna blend out my concealer. If there's been any creasing while I was talking here to the camera. I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. This is my favorite brush for under eye area. It is super soft and very precise. The size of it is big enough to cover the area, but not too big, I would say. Of course, tapping off the excess. Alright, so definitely unlike the original translucent powder, it did add some sort of a um, warm tint. It just made my under eye area as if I have a filter on. It literally looks perfect. If you can see the difference, this is without and this is with the powder. Okay, next I'm gonna set the rest of my face. They do recommend setting it with Laura Mercier Puff. I do have it. However, I prefer to use it when I don't have my foundation on. This is just a, an irregular, soft, big, fluffy brush. Again, tapping off the excess. I don't apply a lot of pressure and I just apply it in circular motions. You don't need a lot, it will still do the job. You can tap around the area where you get most oily or most shiny. This is what I do anyway. It's weird touching your face, but I love the silky smooth effect it gives my skin. This is probably as matte as I would go. Now, if you prefer a completely blurred out look without any shine, like for example, I have a little bit on my forehead in this area, you can definitely be a little bit more heavy-handed. So far, I am not surprised at all, I'm gonna be honest, because I love the original powder. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, and I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks basically all together. But I feel like my skin looks amazing. <laughs> And this is my very quick makeup for the day. On my eyes, I'm wearing a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eyeshadow in Orchid. It's a very beautiful, kind of like a violet, like a pearly violet shade. It is very, very pretty. It is actually super easy to apply in a stick form. I love those, by the way. I applied some highlighter, some blush. I still feel that highlighted effect. I love how it looks on my skin. I love how my skin feels. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my little review. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and I will see you next week.